Hello friends! Today's spread is focused on identifying if a friend is a true friend or a false one. You might consider using this spread if you're getting weird vibes off of someone, possibly someone you've known for a long time where they're starting to treat you differently, or someone who's brand new who you're trying to to get the vibe of. It is a six card spread. I will be using the Wisdom of the Owls tarot deck to demonstrate it. Let's get right into it. As always, this is just one way of doing a reading. It's a demonstration, not a end-all be-all of tarot. As part of this spread, we are going to be asking a series of questions and then flipping up cards to answer said questions. So the first question, which will correspond to, naturally, the first card, is why am I even questioning their friendship? What is this feeling? What is, why am I nagging on this in my own mind? Card number two, what internal thing am I afraid of? So instead of focusing on the other person for the moment, we're going to focus on our internal self. What inside of me is reacting to their behavior? What fear do I have that got triggered? So card number three, what is it that's making group interactions uncomfortable? Card number four, has this person betrayed confidences? Meaning have they, when asked to keep something secret, told others? Are they a gossip? Card number five, am I giving more to this relationship than I am receiving? Is there an unbalanced energy exchange? in this relationship. And card number six, if I were in trouble, would this person help me? So those are the six questions. We're going to go ahead and shuffle up the cards and see what message they have to tell us. And the pattern for this is kind of a six-pointed star. So we will see All right. The first card is the top of the star. You could also interpret it as being a circle, I suppose. It's kind of hard getting them all framed properly in this arrangement, but we will do our best. Okay. We're going to need to scooch some stuff around. Okay. So card number one is the Queen of Swords upright. This is in respect to the question, what's even causing me to doubt them in the first place? The Queen of Swords is a very decisive person. She has faced her challenges, she has learned, and she is prepared to act. She thinks before she acts, though. In this case, you've been questioning for a while now. You've been adding up evidence over time, step by step. Little details here and there of your interactions with this person that just aren't lining up. Card number two, the Page of Swords reversed. Like the Queen of Swords, this is another one about action, about challenges. Being reversed, this is someone who is thinking too much instead of acting. It's important to gain knowledge. It's important to study things out. In reference to the question, what caused you to start doubting this individual? It seems to me that they are someone who is constantly catastrophizing and expecting you to solve the problem for them. They want you to run in and rescue them, but they aren't willing to necessarily solve anything on their own. Add that to what we learned from the Queen of Swords. Actions and words aren't lining up, and you're starting to get a bit too much evidence for it. Card number three is temperance. It corresponds to the question of, in group settings, I'm getting weird vibes from them. Being in a group with them is uncomfortable. With it being the card of temperance, it seems like they are trying so hard, or that you are trying so hard, to have everyone fit in, that you can't be authentic, you can't be real. Constantly looking for the potential backstab if you say or do the wrong thing. Card four is the Five of Swords upright. The Five of Swords represents conflict in conjunction with the question, have they betrayed 
my confidence or other people's confidences before? The answer seems like yes. Card number six is the Six of Wands reversed. In this deck, the Six of Wands represents a celebration, either of yourself or of others. Being reversed, it's that there is some external thing that you should be paying attention to and acknowledging as a joyful thing. In association with the question, do I give more in this relationship than I receive? I don't think so. I think it's more nuanced than that. I think you're going through a cycle where you have been giving more, but that's not always the case. Card number six is the sun. It corresponds to the question, if I was in need, would they help me? Being represented by the sun card, I am almost positive that yes, they would. They would do their best. The sun is a card of masculine energy and of problem solving, of progression. They may not help you exactly how you want, but they will do their best within their capacity to help you. That wraps up this demonstration of the true friend, false friend spread. I've been releasing tarot videos in the morning and mythology videos in the afternoon every weekday. Larger projects are in the works, which will be coming out on weekends. We'll see when I finish those up. And until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye.